the hit and run I wrote and produced and was in it. And tomorrow, Mr. Goody and Peggy are um, also two of my projects. So um, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Wayne Convert, and I was the director, writer, and producer of Just Kill It. Uh, I'm Muse. I was uh, Chuck Yagbag in uh, Just Kill It. And I was Sean Patrick Leonard, or was, or am, and uh, I was Russell in Just Kill It. I'm uh, Neil O'Brien. I'm one of the co directors of To, also an animator in DC. So. Uh, I'm Chad. I was uh, also the co director and animator for To. I'm Jordan. I was the writer, producer, and cinematographer on Rose. And I'm Ethan Abbas as the director on Rose. Uh, I'm Jeremy. I played Dixon and also did visual effects for Rose. I'm Mark. I was the nasty nest door. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> uh, yeah, just kind of talk about your project, uh, the inspiration, where the idea came from, and how it became a project of what we just saw. Um, ditched, I, I wrote for two of my students who played my kids. Um, I own an acting studio in Atlanta, and um, I wanted to write a piece for them to showcase them. And now the young lady, Madison, who played my daughter, is recurring on season three of Ozark now. Uh, you'll see her when it comes out. She's amazing. Um, I just wanted to make a comment on the 1% and how they think that people are less than and their, their lives are more valuable than, than everyone else's and how that's happening in this country right now and um, I think it sucks and uh, um, you know I'm a, I'm a white male in my 50s and uh, we're not the most popular people in this country right now but um, I wanted to tell a story that um, sort of reflected what's going on in this country right now. Uh, well, um, obviously it was uh, classified as a stoner comedy, um, <laughs> <laughs> but the story itself actually was a true story between my brother and I. I literally stayed at his apartment when I was younger, and he asked, how does mom kill spiders? And I said, please. He's like, I literally went through everything you saw. Do you have a shoe? No, it's too hot. Really? Bug spray. I got that. A broom? And he uh, he literally was like, I'll be right back. He went and grabbed the broom and he literally sat there. And I literally was waiting, waiting. What, you know, what the fuck's happening? You gonna kill it? Ah, it's just this battle cry. And I'm like, recently in the last couple of years, I'm like, I gotta use that one day. And I found the right opportunity. We came together, made it beyond that, and we saw. <laughs> Um, tell me all did toe. Um, basically, big fan of the book Scary Stories and old gothic, you know, horror movies. Um, big fan of practical effects. Um, one of the stories in that book was called The Big Toe that we thought would be cool to adapt. Uh, we thought stop motion would be a really cool medium to do it. Um, we had never done stop motion before, so basically that was a difficult task. We had to watch YouTube videos, read <laughs> books, and basically figure out how to do it. Uh, so it was kind of our first attempt, but um, yeah, so it took a year and a half to make, but <laughs> it, uh, we got it done, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I guess uh, one thing I'd add is just the whole decision and inspiration behind doing uh, stop motion. Uh, obviously, we're big fans of uh, Henry Selleck and uh, you know Tim Burton, like Nightmare Before Christmas. But uh, for me, like stop motion is very, I think it's just inherently creepy. And it's just weird the way they move and you have that whole uncanny valley element to it. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was a, you know, just another reason behind doing it in stop motion. So yeah. Um, for Rose, I've been making movies with these two and a lot of people here tonight uh, for a while now, and we have dipped our toes into post-apocalyptic, coming of age, sci-fi, and we wanted to make a monster movie. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I think that about covers it. <laughs> Psychosis is based on a short horror story on a website called uh, Creepy Pasta. Yeah. Uh, my friend showed it to me a few years ago and said he thought it'd be a really good idea for a movie. And then a few summers later, uh, him and a bunch of my other friends and I were working in LA for the summer. Um, so we thought, you know, we'd have the resources to put it together and uh, do the story justice. Uh, Taken from me, uh, actually, the monster was uh, taken from a feature link that I was writing about grief. Um, so basically, uh, Chuck's character is stuck in uh, the bargaining stage of grief. Uh, so he's just bargained, he had bargained with the devil and had uh, just to keep his life uh, alive and like around him and everything. Um, but that being said, I wanted to make it a little bit like uh, comedic and like a little like kind of like just different and funny and like uh, it was a it was a weird uh, shoot because Marcus, uh, the savior the savior of our film, um, came on two hours beforehand because uh, our lead uh, actor dropped out. That same day we had an ice storm where we were supposed to shoot outside. So <laughs> yeah, no, that was really, that was, it was it was different, but yeah, no, it, was, it was very very uh, fun fun shoot, and I'm glad it. Our other actor actually had knee pads because he was on. He was supposed to be on his knees, knees like most of the day and everything. And then Marcus came in and uh, thank you. Saved everything, but yeah. Nice. Anybody think of a question? Quakers, all right. Uh, let's just go through, and uh, I would like to know your favorite movie or a movie that inspired you to do what you're doing now. And it can be anything from your childhood or as an adult or anything. Start on that end. Start on that end. Psychosis, but I like psychological movies a lot. Um, another one of my favorites is Memento. It's a good psychological one. Um, many, many movies, but uh, I think I think one that stands out for me in more of recent history is actually Room. Um, I'm very uh, drawn to um, just the character stories uh, and and stories with some confines and rules set up for them um, and. Yeah. 
Um, so mine's not a movie. Uh, I was in Sweeney Todd, and I was like, this is pretty cool. Uh, so I like singing and dancing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, um, so that uh, I'm, I'm a writer director, uh, but these guys decided to test my memorization skills for those. <laughs> um, but what was cool for me about Star Wars is like there's this whole fantasy element to it, and you know there is this movie magic. But it was actually watching all the kind of behind the scenes documentaries where it's like, okay, there are people behind the magic, and that was really kind of eye opening for me. Um, and I love that's when I fell in love with kind of process and I wanted to know more about it, so that's what I like. Ooh, no. <laughs> uh, I knew I wanted to make movies for a really long time. Uh, when I saw the social network, that was another thing where I realized specifically I wanted to make good movies. <laughs> uh, there's something about that film that I, it sets a particular standard in terms of the polish, uh, not just in terms of the technique, in terms of performance, in terms of being thematically cogent, bringing all those tiny little pieces together. Um, I don't know about any one movie, it was a very slow burn for me to decide to become a filmmaker, um, but I will say that I love Godzilla like he loves Star Wars. So. <laughs> <laughs> <That's sad. laughs> uh, for me, it's always been the Evil Dead movies. Um, this is something really, yeah, really fun, uh, campy, gory, and um, it's just the, the movies are a comedy of errors, and you can just see a lot of mistakes that happen in the background. And for that to be as effective as it is, um, I don't know, it just made me think that it's something that I could do someday and just make fun movies. And yeah, so that was my big inspiration. Uh, when we were coming up with like the visual look and styles. So I was watching uh, David Lynch's Eraserhead a lot. <laughs> it probably shows up in the, the look, all the steam and whatnot. And also love all the gothic uh, Universal Monster movies. So we kind of wanted to just throw all that together and see what came out with that story. So, uh, For me, when it came down to wanting to become a filmmaker, I'm predominantly an actor. So uh, it wasn't until a couple years ago that I decided to make my own stuff, uh, but Boogie Nights was one that always, uh, there was something just so magical and dark and twisted, and P.T. Anderson is a damn good filmmaker, so that was mine. Um, so, I'm the opposite of him. Um, I am not an actor until this, uh, which is still weird to see, um, but pre predominantly a writer, so uh, two of my bigger influences uh, Blake Edwards, who wrote all the Pink Panther stuff, um, Hardy, did a lot of work with Peter Sellers, and then uh, Get Smart, Buck Henry, and uh, Mel Brooks. Mm -hmm. Those are the epitome of both television and film for me. So. Um, well, uh, in all honesty, uh, there's not one particular film. There's different things from many films, but one of them being The Shining, when it comes to horror, and long shots and just the methods and everything that went into that kind of filmmaking process began to inspire me. And then another phase that made me want to become even more involved in film is the people I surrounded myself, Jeremy Silva, sitting right there. Hey. Woo! Woo! Uh, college with him. And the projects that he would put out, like, believe it or not, really were inspiring, especially when he did Watermelon Eyes. I was just so amazed by, you know, an independent, like, smaller film looking like Hollywood quality and just the creative and how the whole process of that all happened and that's what jump started me to want to become more and do more. So, thank you. Me, Jeremy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been an actor um, professionally since, well, I joined SAG in 1988, so, um, I've been an actor all my life. Um, <laughs> you were how old? Yeah. Who wasn't born yet? Um, so it's just storytelling and, and getting to teach and then make films and write films. I was a writer in New York for a long time. I wrote for A&E for three years. And uh, so getting to do this, it's all about collaboration and how amazing it is to work with, with like-minded people. We talk about finding your tribe and finding people 
you know, that you can, you can join again. That's the greatest thing about what, what we've created in Atlanta is this community of actors, and there's a few in the room. Mindy um, has studied with, with us and Gretchen, and um, it's just about building community. I love it. So, yeah. Yeah, so good job, Joshua, at the Mindy Faith Parks. Yeah. <laughs> and Kendall. <laughs> Questions? I have a question. Yes. Kit, who's the kid at the end? Oh, uh, interestingly, if you guys are at the Comedy Block tomorrow and you see Peggy, my collaborator, uh, Justin O'Neill Miller, it's his son. Um, listen, oh, I, 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 of the movie. Yeah, I know. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh, but I thought that was an interesting side note. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the last block, man. Light up. <laughs> the kid represents obviously innocence and 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 the fact that the people who don't have a voice actually do see what's going on. That was my idea. That I look at this film and it's so flawed, and I think about the horrible day that we shot and how there was a thunderstorm and and the road that we had scouted on a Thursday morning on a Sunday was the busiest fucking road in Atlanta. That <laughs> <laughs> the cops that we hired wanted more money. They were extorting us. Um, <laughs> so, Atlanta is great. <laughs> So, so yeah, so that shot was supposed to be different and longer and better with the kid, but uh, that's what we got. So. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants to badger the living shit out of me? <laughs> All right, coming for these guys. <laughs> in the morning and we have films running all day so come back and join us.